Okay, this is the third and final video in the uh, well house build series. First video we leveled the lot, or the ground, and dug and poured a reinforced footer. Second video uh, we laid all the block, put the rough opening for the door, and this video I'm going to start on the roof, and I'm going to do a uh, top plate, two top plates that go like that so that I can pin it. That way you can just lift the roof off. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to start on these top plates. inch holes. some rebar to reinforce this block, fill all these cells with concrete. 38. Okay, every corner and every center is reinforced with 38 inches of rebar and concrete. So, should be hurricane resistant. Now I gotta do the every third cell to match up with my anchors so that we can set this top plate. Hurricane proof wall. Ready? And we turn these anchors to, so they're like this. Okay. Um, no, put the wood down. Make sure this is perfectly inside. Alright, now I'll just whack them down in. That's what she said. Okay, now when these anchors set up, this inner top plate will be definitely fixed permanently. Uh, and then this outer top plate is what I'll build the rafters and roof on so that it'll lift right off. And then I'll drill holes horizontally and be able to just pin it so it all sticks together. And if we ever need to pull the pump or do anything weird, we can pull the pins, lift the roof off, get all in here. Okay, we're going to make a little 
gable roof here. Probably about a 4 and 12 pitch, maybe 5 and 12. So we got a 6 foot. So let's see, 3 and 1, 2, 3 quarters. Like this. support for a ridge board. gussets to sort of reinforce that ridge board. Works pretty good. Sweet. Can't get much better than that. Sweet. All right. Rafters. Uh, before I get too much farther into this, I wanted to give a shout out to Olight for sending me a couple of their new lights to try out. As many of you know, I've been carrying the uh, Through Night TC12 as my EDC light for the past couple years, and it's been a real great light. Um, but I asked uh, Olight to send me what they consider their great EDC light to be, and uh, they sent me this, and this is the uh, M1T Raider Plus. So it's a little bit smaller, uh, shorter but it's still roll quarters in your hand size. It's a great, great size. The big difference is, holy crap, look how, how much brighter that is than that. Now, the only thing I don't like about this particular light is they don't come with rechargeable batteries. Um, they're throwaways, but you can get rechargeable batteries for it. So this would be a great backup EDC light. I just wouldn't use any light that isn't rechargeable as my primary EDC light. But this thing is a real nice light. So we have this hanging right by the door for nighttime operations. Now, what they did send me uh, is a brand new product they call the Seeker 2 Pro, and it's being released like right now. Uh, and I thought it was gonna be like the size of a Red Bull can, but I've been carrying it around for a couple weeks now. This is my new EDC light. This thing is freaking amazing. That'll blind you. Yeah, this thing has three uh, LEDs in it. Button here. Uh, it has a battery LEDs on it that t tells you how, what the charge state is. It's got nice soft uh, silicone grip on here. And the coolest thing is it's got a magnetic charger on the end. So you just kind of click that on there and your charger works uh, USB. So that's the Seeker 2 Pro. That is my new EDC flashlight. Compared to my old one. Compared to my old one. Uh, compared to the M1T. All these are great lights. This thing is a freaking ninja light. So uh, you can, this like I said, is brand new on the market. This is the Seeker 2 Pro. You can, if you buy one of these, they'll send you one of these uh, M1T Raider Pluses for free. I'll leave a link to all that stuff below. But back to the build.
Perfect. Gable end.
is never coming out. And I shimmed, shimmed the bottom of the door with a couple of washers, so I got about a quarter inch gap the whole way around. And I'm recycling these hinges from our old mobile chicken coop. It's a door! I'm going to build a door stop. Three quarter plywood, three quarter scrap. I want my door to be flush inside. These are six inch, three eighths inch lag screws. We'll put them under each rafter so that we can bolt the roof to the sill. If we ever have to pull the roof off to service the pump, just pull these bolts, lift the whole roof off. So I want to thank my neighbor for letting me borrow his Honda generator. This thing does 240 volts, which let me run the water pump and mix concrete and mortar to do this well pump pro or well house project. So it's been a good uh, good generator, but I needed to get one of my own that'll do 240 volts. So it just showed up, and we're gonna check it out. So a few months ago, I did a video reviewing the EZV 3200P by Energizer, uh, and we put it together and. I've only ran it a couple, two or three times. I haven't needed to use it. Uh, but that generator only did 120 volts. And so I ended up getting one, another Energizer. Uh, this is the Mac Daddy Energizer generator that they make. Uh, this is the EZ V7500 inverter generator, uh, 7,500 watts. It is electronic fuel injected, which was one of the only ones I know of that has electronic fuel injection. So hopefully it never has an issue with starting or, you know, running choke or it does all that stuff automatically. We're going to take this thing out and get her put to work here. Look at that, they give you oil. Huh. I already had some oil ready to go, but they sent me some. That's good. No, these are not uh, these are not pneumatic, which I like. But, so they're flat free. Toolkit, oil fill, feet. in the book. So this is just all for wheels. Now I'm going to see if I can get this beast on the ground. That's cool that they give you the oil and exactly what you exactly the right amount. So it takes 32 ounces or one 0.05 liters, and that's what they give you. And 
battery is lithium ion, which is way better than the other one, which is sealed lead acid, and it didn't last longer than uh, I've only had it a few months. That battery died. This one's lithium ion, so I'm hoping it'll work better. Okay, moment of truth. 120 volts, eco mode off. So these uh, lag bolts will hold that inner frame. So this inner frame is concrete anchored down into the cells of the block. Then this outer frame fits around the inner frame. And then we lag bolt that to that. That way you can't lift it. And then if you ever need to remove the roof, you just take out the lag bolts, lift the whole roof off the inner frame, and you're good to go. I'm not going to insulate yet. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put foil bubble foil on the underside of these uh, rafters <clears throat> so that I'll have a radiant barrier and I'll still have air between the foil bubble foil and the roof. So I'll have a way for convection to you know, go up without causing a moisture problem on the inside, hopefully. It was kind of like a cold roof. Uh, and then I'll come back and I'll put uh, foam board insulation along the walls with some vapor barrier. But I'm not gonna do that until probably the fall. I wanna see how this kind of does first before I start buttoning it up. So I'm gonna finish bolting these, I'm gonna finish bolting this roof down and then uh, get the metal on. I found this old piece of roof metal that's already cut. It's about that wide, so I can use it maybe, hopefully, for a ridge cap. If I can get it to bend at this seam. First I gotta cut off these feet of it. so I can screw it down. Should work. Well, it's not perfect, but it's finished and it's functional. And I'm filthy and tired. It actually turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, 
and it's not a foam, fake foam rock. So uh, I, I was told that was not an option. So that's why we did this. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little series. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, I certainly learned that I don't really like doing block work, but uh, in a pinch, I guess I could do it. So happy to have a new generator that is 240 volt to run this. Uh, they're actually doing a free, get a free cover if you buy a generator thing. I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out. Also check out the uh, Olight website. I'll leave a link below if you're interested in picking up their new Seeker 2 Pro. They're having a big flash sale. Uh, you know, you buy one, you get an M. 1T for free. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a good deal. Go check it out. Uh, other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.